Ooh. Fight right. Fighting Raiden. I'm fighting Raiden. Raiden, I was talking in my ear. Hey, you're doing the wrong thing. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Go this way instead. I, I screw you, Raiden. Well, hello, Combat Crew, and welcome to Scorpion Games with me, Scorpion. And today, very special. Actually, it's a very special thing in a line of things I'm about to do. Uh, I've dusted off the old Dreamcast. Sega console. Last one that they made, made in 1998, had some very exclusive games which were very fun to play, but they're not available for anything else. So, we're gonna go and do some of those titles. The first one on my list is one of my favorite fighting games that's not technically like any other fighting game you've ever seen. If you don't know what Virtual On is, this is Virtual On Ontario Tangra. The second game in the series, the first one I played was on the Saturn, ancient console. Uh, this is for the Dreamcast, obviously, and Xbox 360 had a port of it not too long ago, which is better than this looking, better looking than this, but uh, functionally it's not as great. So, Virtual One series is a mechanized fighting game where you play uh, piloted mechs like Gundams. I don't know if you know what Gundams are either, but they have various attacks that have to do with weaponry, melee, a whole bunch of things, mechanics that aren't like in any other fighting game. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, Virtual Fighter, Killer Instinct, they all have the same way that a fighting game works. This isn't like any of those. Kind of complex, but it's really, really engaging when you get into it. So we're going to get into this game. And I have to tell you a little bit about it. And uh, probably lose my ass trying to explain everything and how it works. Ah, these are Virtuoids. This is Tamjin, like the mascot of the game. You always see him on the box art, every single one of them. But there's a whole bunch more, see? Right, and, and they have different abilities, different attacks, different weapons, different armor. Heavy, light, fast, slow. You know the deal. This is my guy, though, Cypher. There's no yellow one. I got a kind of default here. This is the Jet-like character. The characters in this game, the mechs are designed to look like professions or things that you'd see in normal life. Like, that's a Jet. Um, Tamjin's like the swordsman, like a knight. You got football players, you got hockey players, you got soldiers. Just how they look is very much like that. This is like a walk in the park, though. I love this aircraft carrier stage, by the way. So how the attacks work and how the mechanics work in this game is very, very odd. As you can see, I have to kind of constantly be moving, constantly moving, changing. Oh, yeah! I got him with this. This is a secret attack I just did. It takes all of my power meters. As you can see, I have a right, left, and a middle weapon. And they have recharge times. If I use too much of the weapon, I have to wait for it to recharge again before I can do that same attack again. The, the hand you use to fire is kind of like a mechanic in Deadly Alliance and Deception, where if you combine a simple attack, like your left arm or your right arm, with another button, like run or duck or anything like that, it will change what the attack is and the shape of it and what it does to the opponent. And you don't really know, via the manual, what? Uh, the attacks do! You have to really experiment with the game in the training mode to figure out what exactly the kinks are and the quirks to each in a individual character. Number two. See the yellow bars there? They go yellow when I'm in range of him. And I can attack him with a melee. Those are very, very powerful and very, very damaging, but they put you in an animation stance. And you can get... and you can get flanked that way. So if I'm right on his head... Uh, he jumped. He jumped me. Okay. Now, like I said, they have specific attacks. Light ones, heavy ones. Usually your heavy is your double trigger. Oh, for every character, like that's my heavy move. But if I combine it with another button, it will change what it looks like to this. And it'll hold on him. You've got to lock onto the enemy a lot of the time just to make sure your shot's going to be true and, and uh, hit home. But everything's constantly moving, so you're never ah, sure to hit anybody. Ah, that was a risk. I shouldn't have gone straight in at him. 
Oh my god! I was standing still for a second. But this is the hockey player one I was telling you about. Raiden, right here. Looks, sounds like Raiden, doesn't it? This is Raiden. We're gonna play Raiden. Raiden is, uh, has one of the strongest attacks in the game. He's a heavy, but he can also be the lightest. He's a very secret move with him that you can eject all your armor at once. Take all your life down to one, but you become the fastest character. And I'm not going to do that right now because I, I lose my ass. But these cannons that he has built into his shoulders are the strongest cannons in the game for an attack. It'll drain half his health if I land one of those. But since I'm slower, less likely that I'm going to land one. When I'm moving, I can do more attacks at once with the same amount of energy, but it cuts the damage down. So I have to be standing still to use the cannon's full power. And I can't use it right now because I've, I've drained it. Grenade mine. Take that, my. Yeah! So much stronger! His character's weak! He's very mobile though, because he's like on uh, ice skates. Sub so Zero would play him. Or the Ice Lady. There's, an, uh, there's a chick that throws ice. Door Gray. Cross that. Mm. I gotta get up in his face. He has a lot of moves that hold him still for a very long time. I have to wait for him to do them. I love the hell out of this game. It's very, very exciting to play with friends. Multiplayer. He has a lot of things that hold me still, too, and so do I. Whoa! Yeah! Super cannon, baby! You can't dodge that. Depending on my armor level and how much he's picked off me will depend on what attacks work on me. If it's, if it's a mech that has lighter attacks, they'll just bounce right off me if my armor's not depleted enough for him to work those. See how it bounces off? So I gotta, I gotta take his armor down to the point where it's gonna do more damage! Because some of them are bouncing. Okay, I'm getting wasted away. No, no! Oh shit! Oh my god, that <laughs> thing! Oh, I can see what's happening. I don't know if you can see it, but that drill, I barely got hit by that drill. That would have killed me. Oh. You can't stop moving. You're constantly dodge rolling like like Dark Souls. Oh, my first hit. Wait! Ah, crap! The power meter. Depending on the, what attacks you do, you can sacrifice a lot of meters to do special ones that do a lot of damage and do multiple things at one time. Oh! But you're vulnerable for the period of time it takes them to charge again. <laughs> Boom! To lock on an enemy, you can do it a bunch of ways. You can either look at them, which is very slow. You can rotate the camera until you find them and then that, let it, that reticle knocks on them. You can be moving, which is a dash, like this, and fire, and it'll automatically lock on. Which you can do in the air, on the ground. And just simply jumping will automatically lock on as well. So a lot of players... Well, just to find them, we'll jump like a bunny hop real, real fast, put themselves back on the ground just to know where they are, and then fire. We do it a lot. Oh, jeez. Some characters can access double jumps, some can transform into uh, other types of robots, depending on what... Your threats are! Ah! Didn't see his arms were above my head. Oh, I won! I won! By like this much! Almost got him before his arms got to me! This is the ice! Angelin. Angelin. Which is very hard for a slow character to defend against ice dragons! My arm is too strong, doesn't work. Ah! Oh. Throws an ice pillar at me. Great. Great. Great! Dodge that. Some characters are have enough boosters to access both attacks as in one string. 
in one burst of speed. Like Cypher. But I'm a slow one, so I can't do that. I can only rely on one attack at a time. Boom! And she does it! Yeesh. The problem is, is when you run out of dash, you do stand still for like half a second, half a frog hit. So, that vulnerability time is usually the time you're supposed to fire. Let's show off another character. Let's do, uh, do the old Tamjin. Tamjin is the box art. He's the most well-rounded. Best range, best power, best armor for like an even hue. He's like Toad in Mario Kart. He's the swordsman, so he's got a big white saber gun. Like a, like a sword gun, gun blade? Yeah, gun blade from Final Fantasy. Yeah, his attacks are lighter though, depending on which ones I do. Melee! Ah, come on. My melee range is not very great. Come on now. I'm trying to get her in the melee. I can even this keel if I just try. Grenade, one hand. That's my left. Grenade blast radius will actually stop most of her ice projectiles. Oh, coming straight in is very risky. It does pay off with a hit a lot of the time, but if you're doing an attack that's not very strong, like I just did, it's not worth it. Am I gonna go the same way? Yes. Blaster! Yeah, I missed! Forward! Yes, hit! Oh, she baited me! To the jumping attack! To come down with an axe kick! We're gonna do it. We're gonna change our strategy a little bit. We're going Cypher. Start with the blast. She did the same thing. Okay, dodge dragon. Fire, dodge, ice, everything. Dodge everything, ice! Get her! Duh! Straight off! Straight off, you took more damage on that exchange. Ah, oh, crap, hit a wall. Sometimes I'll accidentally do a different move than I'm intending to do, just because of my trajectory. Ooh! Alright, duck! Got her with that. That's a very damaging move if it hits all four. <laughs> right, stay cannon. Out of the sky! Boom! We got her! She's down. What opponent was that? Warning. Warning. Mission 6. Warning. Mini Warning. boss. It's kind of like Mataro. Mortal Kombat 3. What do I do now? Oh god! Oh, oh no! I don't know his patterns. Oh! Whoa, we're wrong! Oh god! Okay, that is not what I'm supposed to do. That is not anything like I'm supposed to do. Okay, just keep walking. Keep walking. Okay, one more. One more. No more? Get okay. Wrong again! Stand still. The first blast he does is straight at me, then apart from me, as if I'm trying to run away from it. So, I gotta actually dodge the first one and then stand still for the second one. Uh, that's a very vulnerable crystal. See how much damage I was doing at one time? Warning. Warning. So I just gotta hit my attacks the right way. I don't know why I was just firing blanks. Right into it. Okay, no, 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 no. I think that this character that I am is fast enough. Okay, okay. No! That's Raiden level. Raiden level damage. Oh, Jesus! No, 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 CDs! He's firing a bunch of CDs at me! What games were those? I'm not going to. Make sure we can finish this guy off. Brad. His name's Brad. Okay. Oh! I should not have stopped. I don't know why I stopped. 
So first wave, done. Shit. Okay, stay. One. Wait. One. Two. Three. One more! No! Yes! Every attack connected on that exchange! I've never done a one shot of him! I've never done a one cycle on that guy! Yeah, give me some stat boosts. I don't know what this does. This doesn't do anything. Oh! Section 2 is space. So all the space oriented stages are now. Okay, so that's the fast one. This guy right here that I'm facing is a melee expert, so his range for melee is like half the screen. So I gotta be very, very careful about getting close up, because he will dominate me. He's very weak from the distance. Back up! Come down! Oh, I missed! He's got these tonfas, like night sticks. See him? They are what he uses to kick my ass up close. Cover! Whoa, that went right through my cover! I'm still ahead on energy. Whoa, I missed with the kick! I did a Johnny Cage kick there, if you didn't notice. Come on, one more. Straight in. Boom! Oh! Right in his face. These little exploding grenades. Freaking knives that I have. I win. If you haven't played this game, definitely check him out. Don't go past Ontario Tangram, though. Uh, because the mechanics in the other games are really dumbed down. The attacks are limited. Uh, the movement is slowed. You can even tell in the voice of the announcer that it's slowed down. Yeah! I'm fighting myself, by the way. I can get another one? No, I can't. I'm fighting myself. Yo! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom, get up. Whoa! Okay, up, double, double. She paralyzed me, I couldn't do it. Great! Straight in! Jeez! I would've gotten taken out by that one, but I got him first. Be first! Be first! It's the samurai code! Right, okay, so if any of his laser cannon bolt gets in my face, I'm screwed. Oh, you went the same way as me. Oh my god! Yeah, those things. Don't get hit by those things is what my mind was doing. Shit! Oh, you... Oh! Oh, I was stood still for a second. I would've gotten annihilated by those. Boom! I got two! I'm gonna take away all of your projectiles with these! Jump twice! I gotta power that up for a grenade. Now! Boom! In your face! Ugh! Wait! Straight at him! Oh shit! This is it. Whatever move lands next will be the deciding victory. Cleared that. His blasts are stronger than mine. It went right through him. No! Check! Mate! Woo. Fight Raiden. Fighting Raiden. I'm fighting Raiden. Raiden! Always talking in my ear. Hey, you're doing the wrong thing. Hey, you're going the wrong way. Go this way instead. I, I, screw you, Raiden. Looks like a Star Wars tunnel. Uh. By the way, we're in space, so physics are a little different. Some stages are like underwater, and they have... They change the properties of how you move. Melee's good! Against him when he's standing still! Oh, I just got a combo! 
See that level, I just, I even my entire energy toward his. Just with one or two attacks down there. I can change my direction twice. Get! Stand still? Nope. Okay. Wait. Yes! No! Wrong button! That one! A beam of my own. I beamed him. Uh, boom. Okay. I know I'm doing a lot of warning, blue attacks too. Warning, warning, warning. Final? We're at the end boss. We're at the end boss combat crew. We're fighting the Death Star. Death Egg. Whatever you want to call it. Sonic or something more appropriate for Sega. I cannot look at you. I can't look at you! Uh, up or down? That's weird. I'm flying all the time. Mechanic is different. Mechanic is different. Go up, down. Oh, God. Hey. Fire. 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 And then that one. Then dodge again. Oh, jeez. What now? Oh, God. Fire that one. Oh, I got hit by the end of it! It was full strength. Just getting hit by the little, like, turning off of the light. I could turn into a jet and go through him. But I will be damaged by it if I do it. It's very risky. Very little payoff as far as damage goes. I'm better stick with the beams, but I'm going to try and do a drop. I'm going to try to do a drop quad. Fire. Oh, wait. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. I'm fast enough in regular motion to dodge most of those. Up. Oh. Ah, I stay still. Okay. Fire. Straight ahead. Down. Down again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, myself as a distraction? Okay. Uh, can I survive the next wave? That's the important part. Where are you, where are you, where are you tapping? Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Face me! Face me! Doubles! Do I get you yet? Huh? Yeah! No! I stood still! I did a, I did an ascend instead of a, I was trying to dash. I don't do the bosses off. I really don't. What were they in Saturn anyway? I don't even remember where the bosses are in Saturn. In total, there's probably about, as far as Virtual On goes, there's probably about five games right now uh, that have the Virtual On title to them. It's very confusing. They're not like one, two, three, you know, kind of deal. They're like this name, this name, this name. You just gotta go by date to figure out what. God. Okay, alright, okay. We just survive this pattern and don't get hit by his bullshit. No! Those things are just the devil. Okay, okay, come out. One, two, three. Duck, duck. Over. Okay, run, start, go. Don't stand still. Jump, attack. Yes! Screw you, Death Star! I am the Rebel Rebellion. I just shot the thing. Torpedo in your garbage chute. Ventilation shot. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> Boom! I blew up the planet. Oh, I gotta love these ending cinematics. Top notch. The quality in the story of this game is the best. No bullshit. 
she's saying a bunch of stuff in robot, and uh, I have never been able to decipher what it is. Sorry, I was talking over it, but you couldn't either. And that has been the arcade mode of Virtual On. And I gotta put uh, Scorpion in there. Yeah, SCP Containment Breach. That's my name. Boo. The top pilot. And other games that kind of took this anime turn with it, where they put character storylines and their arcs of individual characters as pilots of these mechs into the game so that there's drama. You have uh, missions. It became four players after a while. Four players on the same map with a split screen and or online co-op. That's the later versions of this game. That uh, PS4, I think, was the latest version and a virtual on game came out. So I've never even seen that game. But I hope you like it. Check out Virtual On Ontario Tangram for Xbox 360 or go grab a Dreamcast for like 20 bucks and find this game on it. This has been Scorpion Games with me, Scorpion. I hope you like, comment, subscribe for more, whatever that is we can do. Click on the bell icon. Click on the bell icon. Click the bell icon to get notified when we make videos or things, whatever the hell are going to be. And we'll see you guys next time. Whatever the hell are going to do. Bye bye.